Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now this is part 4 in an ongoing series in which I'll be discussing a beginner's guide to crafting in the MMORPG known as Final Fantasy XIV. Now in this section I'll be discussing material melding as well as spirit bonding as it pertains to crafting. So let's start off with materia. Now if you take a look at an item as you can see here, if you look under the materia section, there's one green circle. What that means is a materia can be melded into this slot without any penalty. Now, also, let's take note that some gear has a maximum amount of materia that it can ever hold. Now, let's take a look at this item right here. This Augmented Shire's Pathfinder circlet has Advanced Melding Forbidden. What that means is it currently has two materia slots. It cannot take more than two. All right, so going back to this item, as you can see here, like we said, we can meld one materia into this slot without any penalty. So this can be done at the materia melder or if your job for crafting is high enough, you can meld it yourself. Now, if you look at this very specific item, this item was created by a carpenter. You can tell because the repair level says carpenter level 70, and it also says material melding, carpenter level 80. What that means is a carpenter level 80 is required if a player character was to meld material into this. All right, so now as you can see here, like we said, we can have one slot. So I'm gonna have this materia melder meld into this item a materia. So I'm gonna meld, as you can see here. Now, in this first slot, or any slots that have uh, no penalty, you always wanna put your best materia in there right or the most expensive because since there's no penalty there's no risk of it breaking so for this very specific item i'm going to put in a command of materia six but normally since this is a main hand or offhand item i normally do not meld more than just once but i'm going to over meld this today just so you can see but as you can see here my original item here only has one material in it Anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to meld this uh, control plus 10. Now, if you look at the bottom area where it says available materia enhancements, let me move this up. Okay. So what this means is I have when it comes to control, I currently have 356 and it can hold a maximum of 419. So I cannot put more than 419 for control. You also look here, it says CP, I'm at zero out of six, which means I can put up to six in there and I currently have zero. And the same thing with my craftsmanship. I can go up to 773 and I currently have seven or 657 in it. Right, as you can see here with the stats. Uh, so craftsmanship, 657 and control, 356. That lines up with the material enhancements. All right, so I'm gonna have this material melder meld in this control. So as you can see here, my control would now become plus 366 out of 419. So there is still room for it. And as you can see here, I have a 100% chance that this meld will succeed. So for sure, it once I click this meld button, it will go in and it will fill up this green circle. So I'm gonna do that now. There we go. All right, it's melded. Okay, now I'm going to do what's called over melding. Now I'm gonna do this myself because the material melder cannot over melt. You need a crafter to do it. Now, if I didn't have the class high enough to do it, I could click someone else and have them uh, request a meld. Let me see if I can find a crafter over here. So I could say, click this guy and request meld and ask him if he will do it for me. Of course, there there's most likely gonna be a fee 
Uh, but I'm going to do it myself because uh, I have the, the class leveled up high enough. All right, so when it comes to main hand and off hands, I always want to have CP in them. Uh, that's just me. I like having a maximum amount of CP. So I'm going to put this CP plus 3. Okay, this is a rank 3 materia. Okay, and as you can see here, the base item uh, level is 45, which means I can put this in item level 45 or greater. And as you can see here, the same thing with my the item uh, that I put in earlier, I had an item level for 290 or greater. And the item that I'm currently putting into is 430. So both of these could easily go in here, no problem. Okay. Uh, so you have to take note of that because if the item level is too slow, let's say the item level is 9, you cannot buy so something like this and put it in. It needs to be at least the item level required. All right, so I'm gonna over meld this. Now, as you can see here, because my green slots are already full, because I only had one on that one, from here on out, there is a chance that it may fail. So I always like to put in cheaper materia going forward on this point, unless I really needed to put in bigger materia in order to make a craft, uh, which I generally don't like doing. Uh, I'd rather use food to boost up my stats to that point. So here we go. I'm gonna try and melt this, 70% chance. There is a chance it might break. If I do break it, only the materia is lost, not the item. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try and meld. As you can see here, plus three out of six, okay. You are attempting to meld additional material to an item. If you fail, you will lose the material. Proceed. Yes. All right. So I succeeded. And as you can see here, I have a red dot. This is an over meld. All right. But I still have room for three more CP. And I always want to max my CP out on my weapons. So I'm going to try and click that again. And as you can see here, now I have a 38 chance to fail. That's pretty high. So I have quite a large quantity of them uh, in, in my bag. And, you know, these are fairly cheap because they're low level materia. So I'm okay with the risk. Now, if I tried to put in something even bigger, let's say I tried to put in this control uh, plus 10, which is a materia six. As you can see here, the higher the materia, the harder it is to do. And currently right here, it'll be a 0% chance, which means I cannot do it. All right, so I'm going to use this lower level one, 38% chance. Okay. For the price of this uh, material, I'm worth taking the risk. So try and melt. It's probably going to break, but we'll see. Oh, wow. Okay, I made it. Now, normally that would probably like break. Okay. So yeah. All right, so if it did break, it would ask me, would you like to try again? I'd be like, yes. And then, you know, I would keep trying until I finally passed. Now, let me show you what's called a pentameld. So this is an example of a pentameld. It has five melds in it. So it had two green circles to begin with. And I filled them up. And then I, I over melded three more items. So when we got to the final one, it was actually really rare. I, I, I broke a lot of material getting to that point, uh, which is why I don't like to over meld uh, my main hand off hand, because when it comes to crafting, your armor pieces and your accessories are shared between all your classes, but your weapons, your main hand and your off hand are not shared between each one of your class so it would actually take a lot more material to try and over meld all these different items so i like to over meld these and i like to only single meld my main hand and off hand i just got lucky with this second over meld um, let me see if i can put something else in in hopes to break it so you can see what it looks like so i'm gonna try and put in uh what other spare material do i have that's cheap You know what, let's try it. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to meld those in. 
So uh, we're gonna mail the craftsmanship plus five. No, oh, actually, I don't want to mail craftsmanship. I don't want any more of that stat at currently. Let's do control. Yeah, it's fine. So here we go. I'm gonna meld control plus two. So I have a 26% chance. So this is probably fail. So here we go. So as you can see there, you are unable to attach the material to the lignum vitae spinning wheel. The craftsmanship command material two was lost. All right, so there you go. That's uh, that's what it looks like. All right, all right. So now that I've showed you melding and over melding, let me now show you removing melds. So as you can see here, I have already been using this, and let's say I out leveled it, or I uh, I wanted to take out that material for whatever reason. So I'm going to right click the item and then I'm going to retrieve materia. Okay. Now for this very specific item for this very specific materia, I have a 100% chance to re retrieve this. Now, if this material was say a craftsman's cunning materia eight, I probably would have an 80% chance. But since I'm way over beyond this materia, I can easily remove it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it, as you can see here. So I just removed that materia, and there you go. And now it is in my inventory. So for main hand and offhand, I always like to meld one. And when I spirit bond an item to 100%, I like to rem remove the materia, as seen here. And then what I like to do is I like to spirit bond it. So as you can see here, I have spirit bond 100%. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm going to convert this. And what that does is it's gonna destroy the item and turn it into a materia. Because this is a crafting type of item, this item is used for crafting, the materia that it will create is of the crafting family. So I'm going to right click it and then I'm going to click convert. Once an item is converted into material, it cannot be restored. Proceed? Yes. All right, so as you can see here, I just got a craftsman cunning material eight. All right, so now let's go to the market board just so I can show you why I like to do this. So I'm going to open up Weaver Tools, Lignum Vete Spinning Wheel. Now these items go for, currently right now I'm looking at uh, 60K, right, for an HQ. Now let's look at the item that I just converted to. It is a Craftsman's Cunning Materia 8. Craftsman's Cunning Materia 8. And these currently go for upwards of over 200k. So that's quite a large amount of profit. So I always like to do that. Once my main hand and off hands have reached 100% spirit bond, I convert them and they generally turn quite a large amount of profit. So it's easy for me to just make my own tools or just buy them off the market board. Either way, it's, uh, it's a free upgrade. Uh, now, another thing I like to do is I like to, whenever I craft, I always like to use a spirit bond potion. These are really cheap, as you can see here. So it, whenever I'm gonna be crafting a large amount of items, I always make sure to have a Spirit Bond Potion active. Now these last for 180 minutes, so that's quite a long time for a session. And as I showed you, getting materials like this make it completely worth it. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.